Greetings, and welcome to episode 61. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the pineal gland and how to activate it. This is going to get really fun because I'm going to start teaching parlor tricks like I swore I wasn't going to. All right. So if you're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, the pineal gland, otherwise known as the third eye. Now, before I get started, you need to know a few things. When you first start doing these techniques, and I'm going to try and teach you the three that I learned, you know, you have to know that it's a part of the brain. Any part of the brain that you don't use all the time, it's going to get tired very quickly. It can cause you headaches because you're activating a part of the brain that you 99, well actually 100% of the time you use by accident and I'm teaching you how to open it and hopefully to hone it so you can focus it. So where to begin? <sighs> this is how I learned it. directly between the eyes and just above them just above them back to just above the ears touch the side of your head that's right right above your ear I mean your finger should be resting on your ear when you touch your head that's where your pineal gland is now in that spot Imagine a light as bright as a sun and its warmth slowly building. It's not just boom, bright light. I mean, because if you turn on the light and it's dark, what happens to your eyes? They <clears throat> So you want to start from nothing and make it gradually brighter. First it's nothing. Then it's the light of the first light of dawn where it's still dark out, but it's starting to get lighter. Then it's maybe a candle in the room or a candle in the next room and the light shining in and so on and so forth don't forget to feel the warmth of it not hot don't make yourself burn yourself on accident just warm you can imagine if you want to imagine a sound that actually help greatly because the universe is based on sound and yada 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 you know where I'm gonna go from here so let just if you have decided to add sound it can only help but you don't need it I didn't use sound I just used light the vis the, the, the because that's what eyes do they reflect light <coughs> now mind you this is an eye you've never opened before, so any amount of light is going to hurt. And granted, you're not getting direct sunlight, but light passes through everything. So light is passing through your skull. Light is hitting your pineal gland. Now, little exercises. Make the light grow. Shrink the light back down. Don't make it expand to the size of a sun. Just... Just a pea size. Open, close. Because you really don't want it that far open anyway. You wouldn't open any of your chakras up that big until you were ready. <clears throat> Meditating while you're doing it helps. You don't have to. You just want to feel a sensation. Here's another technique I learned. feel something cause yourself to feel something not grief you don't want to go in there negatively cause yourself think of a, a funny memory or or a memory that causes you to feel emotion of any sort not negative emotion you can do that later you don't want the first things you see to scare you away from opening it in the first place so feel something anything now instead of feeling it here feel it here
don't touch anything don't touch the actual physical matter you're just sending energy to the spot that's why we visualize light light is energy that's why we visualize or well I guess technically you're visualizing the sensation of warmth and then visualize the sensation of a sound vibrating through there if that's what you are so inclined to do otherwise continue don't touch anything because you go poking around in there like trying to feel physical matter and you could damage something <laughs> just send the energy there it's like when you sit and pretend your hand is warm and suddenly your hand is warm same principle only it's in here you're not going into your hand you're not breaking shit and catching it on fire you're just sending energy there same principle send energy there don't try to see anything because if you're trying to see something that means you have expectations let it tell you what it sees your eyes tell you what they see you don't have expectations of what's there you wait for the information to come so wait for the information to come treat it like it's an eye Okay, sorry I'm being silent, but I'm trying to give you a chance to breathe and feel. You should get some kind of sensation other than the sensation you're projecting up there. And be gentle. These are parts you haven't used since you were born. When, since you were taught to shut it off, you haven't used these mechanisms. At least not on purpose. And now you're trying to reactivate them. Think about people that are in a body cast for six months. What happens? They have to go through physical therapy. No difference with a part of the brain. If you damage a part of the brain, you're going to need time for that to, A, for it to repair itself, B, for you to be able to use it again at the level you were using it before it was injured. For all intents and purposes, being 
either accidentally or purposely tricked into shutting that part down, you have to reactivate it and you have to take it easy. It's like an old car you find in the barn. It's been in the barn for 30 years. You don't just start it up and race it around. You start it up and you let it run. That's if you can get it started. And I'm not going to guarantee any of these techniques will work for you. But if these techniques don't work, I invite you to go. There are plenty of teachers out there that teach it differently. A lot of people teach it, oh, you got to clean it and you got to this and you got to that. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Maintain the temple and all that. But if I was able to open mine with my body in the condition it's in, I'm a smoker. Uh, I drink on occasion. I'm not the healthiest man I know. I don't eat the healthiest food of all the people I know. And I was still able to get mine to start working again. Start, fun start functioning on purpose, uh, at my will, instead of just randomly on accident. <coughs> it is a radio receiver and transmitter. Why is that important? Because it sends and receives radio frequencies. Radio frequencies are sounds. The universe is based on sound. You don't know what frequency it's going to be tuned into automatically when you open those, when you open that eye back up. You haven't had a chance to tune it yet. So you don't know what it was looking at when it shut down. That's probably the same frequency it's going to be at when it opens back up. So don't be in a rush because you you will cause yourself a headache. It's akin to kundalini crisis. That's when you either cause your kundalini energy to rise wrong or too quickly. It can cause you physical pain. We'll get into the kundalini energy later. Right now, let's worry about the top of the staff. We'll teach you about the base of the staff later. Let's get the staff working and then we'll teach you how to put energy in it. <coughs> yes, thy rod and thy staff give me comfort. That's what they meant. <sighs> when Moses threw the staff on the ground, he didn't throw his staff on the ground. He turned his staff into a serpent. That means he caused his kundalini energy to rise. And it gave him power. Read a book. <laughs> it's, in, it's all out there. And don't just take my word for it. Please, God, don't just take my word for it. There are many, 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 many books out there. There are many, 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 many videos out there about this stuff. You're just I'm just going to give it to you from my point of view, the way I learned it, the way I try to maintain it. And granted, there's days where I just don't, don't even bother with it. And... There are certain things that can deplete certain energies, especially your vital energies and your kundalini energy. But right now, you're only worried about emotional energy and where you're putting it. What we're trying to do with this exercise is you can try all three techniques at once if you want. Just be very careful and take it very slow. Do the light. Do the warmth. Do the feeling. Do the sound. <coughs> And the final technique, the sound wasn't one of the ones I learned. The sound was one of the ones I added later. Just added it because it was part of my meditation anyway. So I just added it in there. Because when I meditate, I meditate through all of my chakras. I just wasn't doing this one properly until I got it open. So, the last technique I only just learned recently. That's the perspective switch where you view from inside out not outside in where you're out here looking in saying how do I feel you're inside telling you how you feel you're inside controlling the mechanism you are the mechanism you're pulling away from the flesh not outwardly but inwardly you are in the flesh not of it Now, if you, because you saw that video first, if you've been following my videos, if not, 
here's your perfect opportunity stop this video go back and watch the rest of the videos it's perfect beginner lessons to build up to this moment and yes some of them are a little more mundane than others but they all have something to offer even if it's just my unique perspective on something that's going on in your life because not every moment's going to be deeply spiritual and ah uh, I try to make it that way because I spent my whole life looking for adventure and going out and you know get with your friends and let's go do this and let's go do that and let's go do this and party party and then if it struck me the the adventures on the inside think of all the battles you go through that's not what you see. You just see, oh, I have a decision to make. We'll go inside there and see what that decision looks like. It's like a ar two armies tearing each other apart. <laughs> huh. There's no greater adventure I've found than having integrity and sticking to your guns. So many people try to knock you off of that pedestal. And it's not even really a pedestal. It's just a you draw a circle in the ground and you sit in it and you say, I'm not moving from this spot integrity and that spot won't, won't count for everything but the things that are important to you that spot will count for those and people will try to move you just to see if they can move you pardon me I got my lips are exfoliating <laughs> I hate that anyway I'm gonna get it god damn it Anyway, uh, yeah, so anyway, seeing it from the inside out, so you're in your energy, you are the energy, you're not in the energy, you're experiencing the energy from the center, realizing fully that you are the energy, so now it helps you control that energy that's rising up to, to your third eye a little bit better, you can be a little bit more gentle without touching anything. And you can see for yourself that it works. You can feel it. You feel it? Yeah, I could feel that you feel it. <laughs> Just breathe for a minute. Breathe through it. Breathe through it. Like you're breathing from that energy, not your lungs. The Germans have a saying for meditation. It's a kind of a mantra, they say. And the direct translation is, it breathes me. As in, it breathes me. Oops. <laughs> Wasn't concentrating. Anyway, <clears throat> that kind of hurt. Anyway, yeah, you got to be mindful <laughs> of your energy. <clears throat> and practice. Don't expect miracles in the first few seconds. Remember that you don't know what it's supposed to feel like. I don't know what it's supposed to feel like for you. I can only explain what it feels like for me, but if the sensation isn't the same for you, you'll say, oh, that's not it. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you, just be mindful. Let it tell you we've got it or we don't got it. All of us on the same path. If we weren't, you wouldn't be watching this video. You could be on a different path. I don't know how you're on a different path than watching this video, even if you're a Christian or a Muslim. Even if you're Jewish. I don't care what religion you are. If you're watching this video, something led you here. I'm not telling you light, dark, good, evil. I'm telling you, here's a technique so that you can use all of what God gave you.
It's another thing. I don't watch television. So mine isn't automatically tuned into TV. If you watch a lot of television, I can guarantee you yours is automatically tuned into TV or radio. I don't do a whole lot of it either. I listen to the radio at work because I don't have a choice. The radio is locked in a room and I don't have a key to that room or I would just turn it off. <coughs> because for that reason. I don't know if you can feel what I'm trying to project, but I'm trying to project how I feel in this moment. But this is how I feel. This is how the energy interacts with me. I don't know how it will interact with you. To me, it's a mellow, warm feeling. Try not to project forward. Like, when we concentrate, we have a tendency to push our energy forward. Try not to push your energy forward. Try to just let it drift up. But funnel it through your pineal gland. Funnel it through your third eye. That tiny little prism in your brain. Let it flow gently. It's not a rushing river. It's a gentle breeze. This isn't white water rafting. By the time you get to that point, you'll have sufficient understanding of the mechanisms that it won't be a problem. But right now, if you're just for the first time doing this, it'll be a problem if you rush that much energy through it that quickly. It's like children that first learn how to walk don't run out and try and run a marathon. It just is not feasible. And if you're overdoing it, you're going to have setbacks such as headaches. <laughs> Your brain's just going to get tired and shut off on you. And you'll just feel like, wow, I feel like I have the dumb today. Well, you don't have the dumb. Your brain shut down because you overworked it. It's like any other muscle. If you overwork it, it'll stop working and you won't even be able to lift a piece of paper. So just ease back. Baby steps. If this is your first time trying it, this is the first day. Yes, you will get to the mountain. Baby steps at first. Baby steps. And you can look, you can scour the world over. You'll not find a technique that gets you to the expert level on day one. There is no technique out there that will teach you that. You grab a guitar and you want to learn how to play solos like Eddie Van Halen or pick your favorite guitarist. You want to play solos like that guy? You're not going to your first day of guitar lessons and coming out playing guitar solos. It's just not going to happen. You barely have Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> and you won't even tell anybody. I know how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. You won't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. but yeah eventually you will be doing solos eventually you will be Eddie Van Halen or insert your favorite guitarist I'm not saying Eddie Van Halen is my favorite guitarist he was just innovative for his time and that's the metaphor I use that's the analogy I used <coughs> so pick your favorite guitarist they started from scratch. They weren't born as the great guitarist that you know. Slash. <laughs> Heard that one pop in there. <laughs> oh. Just relax. It will work. Give it time. Keep trying. If you, if you think you can't get it to work, you won't get it to work. If you're trying to get well, well, what does it feel like? I can't explain to you what it feels like to you. Each nervous system is its own unique fingerprint. So mine doesn't work exactly like yours. So things won't feel exactly the same as they do for you. And I don't want to tell you, well, it feels like ice cream. And then yours feels like bricks. And then because you didn't feel ice cream, it didn't happen for you. But you kept feeling bricks. But you're like, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. Let it happen. Let it happen. You send the energy. Let your third eye happen for you. Don't happen for it. 
it knows what it's supposed to do. It was programmed genetically to function a certain way. All you're doing is plugging it back in. Don't try to direct it until you can get it functioning properly in the first place. It'll all come back to you. <laughs> You're going to wonder what I said. Why do you say it'll come back to you? Long story short, it'll all come back to you. <laughs> ah, we'll get into that in a video down the road a piece. But uh, my next video, I, I've decided that uh, because of my work schedule, I've been trying to find a way to do a video every day of the week. And just because of my work schedule, it's being like two videos or three videos or even sometimes just one video. So I'm going to go and try and do three videos every other day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Ooh, ooh excuse me. That way, I'm, I feel... I feel more comfortable doing three videos at least in a week and then spreading them out gives me time to plan for the next video because with my work schedule I really don't have time to plan I work nights so when I should be planning I'm sleeping so I don't have the time I had before when I first started the channel I wasn't working I'm working now but I think my next video will be partially a recap of this video just to see if you have, uh, you know, if you gained just the littlest bit of understanding of what, what I'm talking about. And I'll get into how to tie in a bunch of the different techniques into, it's like a full body technique. And, yeah, it'll be pretty cool. You just wait and see. I'm coming up with all kinds of ideas now that I'm getting back into the swing of things. But Third Eye Awakening, I'm glad you joined me. I hope that you could catch on even just the slightest little bit because even if you just got it to feel, you all you want to do is feel any sensation right now. That's why I said send your emotions up there. You know what your emotions feel like. So you don't have to wait for any kind of explanation. All you're doing is making sure that energy is getting there. And just keep sending energy there gently. Gently. You don't want to hurt anything. You don't want to break anything. You don't want to strain anything. I don't care if you're a light worker. I don't care if you're a shadow dweller. You gently. Baby steps. You won't play solos the first day. But when you are playing solos... I want to hear about it <laughs> because I can't really teach you there's no real notes it's because of the way we live our lives in this society everything you'll do with it every technique you'll learn will be based on the way you live your life I mean I can teach you different techniques that you could probably uh, integrate into your system but for the most part, you integrating that into your system will still be based on how you live your life. And because I can't be there with you to see how you live your life, I can't give you direct pointers. Hey, maybe if you tweaked it a little like this, I can't do that because I'm not there with you. But I can tell you, one, energy there. Either the light and the warmth or the sound or the just drawing all of your energy in and making sure that that's part of it but however you're doing it make sure that it's just the energy is floating up like it's steam or smoke all you're doing is funneling it through channeling it through your third eye so that it has to go through there has to go through there before it comes out gently gently slower even slower than that even slower than that even slower than that 
there we go nice and slow because it's the first day and if it's not the first day then you already know what we're talking about and just try the technique just for fun it could just be a new exercise technique for you <clears throat> but yeah getting on to the 30 minute mark wow this it, to me was a very good episode uh, if you have enjoyed this video please click the like button you can favorite it if you want please leave a comment down below I want to know if it was your first time trying it I want to know if you're an experienced traveler seeker I want to know if this benefited you at all one way or the other or if it maybe was just another take on something you already knew but if you would like to keep coming back and getting more information or you just like the sound of my voice then go ahead and click the subscribe button but until next time you hang in there <laughs>